need these hands to hold the map of the porch of porch rocker and the pierogies and stuff and so yeah um those three situations were some of the main motivations for me wanting to buy a camera like this um but there have been lots of other times i've wanted to have a standalone camera like there have been a couple times where friends were playing live music and I wanted to video them so they could see how they sounded or use the video to get more gigs. Um, so specifically, there was the Us 3 gig at Artisan and then there was like Chloe Fuller one time played at the Union Towns Lion Festival. I was just looking back through my YouTube channel. Um, but So it's nice to have a discrete camera in those situations because like otherwise I remember this happening, at the thing with where I filmed just a random like acquaintance that I knew singing at this festival um otherwise people see a big old glowing brick of a phone and filming and they think oh shoot I need to not do anything weird because I'm on camera whereas you know with this tiny little camera um I think people would see it and be like what is that a pack of gum with a light bulb on it you know that's probably not that's probably not something I need to pay attention to and and just kind of ignore it it's super tight here I'll show it to you it's super tiny when it's not in the case. Um, it's probably about as big as like half of a bar of soap or like the battery of an old school cam camcorder. Um, also, there are other random festivals I've gone to where I think it'd be fun to just strap a camera to myself so people on the internet, so one, people on the internet can get an idea of what the festival is like. But also, too, um, my niece and nephew are with me a lot of times, so those videos kind of double as good home videos. So, before I bought this camera, um, I bought a Zoom Q2N 4K handy video recorder. That's the name of the camera. Um, and I bought that camera because I really wanted good built-in sound with as little fuss as possible. But I ended up returning that camera because the handling noise and wind noise that it picks up make it so that it wouldn't be a good fit for most of the situations where I'd realistically want to use it, such as Porch Rocker or other outdoor festivals. Um, plus, you'd probably want to do some processing to the sound after filming. And if possible, I thought it'd be nice to try and find a camera where the sound was usable right out of the camera so that I might be able to, you know, sometimes get away with just dropping the video directly onto YouTube, kind of like I'm going to do with, with this video. Um, I'm assuming that this camera, this camera that I'm wearing right now will apply some compression and or limiting to the sound as it's filming. Uh, but we'll see. That's part of what I'm trying to experiment with in this video. Again, I have no idea how this video will sound. I'm just uploading it directly to YouTube from the camera with no processing applied. Um, another thing about the Zoom Q2N 4K is that if you're willing to fuss with a wind... Here, let me go show you. If you're willing to fuss with a wind muff, aka a dead cat, <laughs> that's what people call these things. Um, so, okay, here's the Zoom. Here's the Zoom H1, which is this little video recorder that, that I have. And, and here's a wind muff. People call this a, de a dead cat. I don't know. But if you're willing to fuss with like a wind muff for wind with these sensitive little microphones and trying to really gently handle the microphone and doing all kinds of post-processing on the sound in your computer and stuff, at that point you might as well just use something like the Zoom H1 that I happen to already own and just sync the sound up to the video later. The Zoom H1 is basically the Zoom Q2N 4K with no video camera, only the fancy, albeit sensitive, microphones. So with this setup, I have the DJI, DJI Osmo Action. Uh, with this, okay. With this setup, with the DJI Osmo Action, I have the option of using the rugged and convenient built-in mics or using my Zoom H1 anytime I want super high quality audio. So the DJI Osmo Action costs $200 uh, that I'm wearing right now. And I also bought a GoPro style camera ex GoPro style camera accessory pack for $14, which included this head mount, a selfie stick. Oh, it's, actually, it's actually over here. I don't know where the selfie stick is, but oh, here's the selfie stick. A selfie stick, um, a chest mount, and some other stuff like that this thing, I don't know. Um, and I bought a 256 gigabyte memory card for $26. So, now for a few tests. 
First of all, I'm going to take a ride around the block on my EUC, my electric unicycle that is. I'm going to do this to test how much wind noise and handling noise the mics pick up when doing this. Okay, one thing that I forgot to put in my script here. Um, uh, so there's there's these little like sticky wind muff things. They're just little tiny wind. They're like a version of the dead cat that was in my bathroom back there. But they're just like a little sticker and you stick it on little built-in microphones like the one on my camera here. And... Um, if there is a lot of wind noise whenever I do this little experiment here, um, that's something that I could look at to uh, mitigate that. But anyways, I think there might be a storm a-coming, and there's the Amazon person. All right, so I'm going to stop, like, talking really loud I'm like a maniac to myself, and I'm just going to ride around. <laughs> Oh boy, I hear thunder. All right, so, oh boy. I thought there was a car following me. I don't know if you can hear me right now. If you can, that's pretty cool. There's birds chirping. Uh, I think the the car that I heard was just the Amazon truck coming, so. So yeah, hopefully this sounds okay. I'm not, probably the first time I watch this video, I'm just going to open up YouTube and watch it because I want to know like how loud. I stopped talking because there was somebody back there. I want to know 